In this video, we go through a solved problem on torque, moment of inertia, and angular acceleration. So there is a pulley that can rotate on a shaft, and there is a rope that's wound around the edge of the pulley and a weight hung on it. The weight provides the torque that rotates the pulley on its uh, central axis, uh, which is the shaft. The moment of inertia is given, the radius is given, and we have to find out the angular acceleration of the pulley and the linear acceleration of the rim. Let's picturize a dramatic stone pulley that's uh, rotating on a shaft as shown and there's a huge weight that's hung at the edge by a rope and that weight provides the torque to rotate that pulley. Now, using that equation, torque is force into radius of action. We know the radius of action is 0.5 meters and we have to find out the force. Force is a mass that's hanging there into G, mg. So that's 8 and 9.878.4 Newton. So using that, we can find torque as 39.2 Newton meters. Now the same torque provides the angular acceleration of the pulley. Torque is equal to I alpha. We know I is equal to 4 is given in the problem. Therefore, alpha is equal to 9.8 radians per second square. So the pulley is accelerating angularly. Now the linear acceleration, the linear tangential acceleration at every point in the rim of the pulley is A is equal to R into alpha. Radius is 0.5, alpha we just found out is 9.8, so A is 4.9 meters per second square. Now we just take a look at that stone pulley. This is only to give a feel for the concept of moment of inertia. You can imagine the effort needed to rotate that pulley about its axis. Thanks and have a great day.